Did Burroughs get burned by Friday the 13th bad luck in this 14-7 loss at Apple Valley for the Mojave River League lead? Donovan Ferguson breaks loose for 50 yards, the longest play of the night, and carries to the three-yard line, setting up the Sun Devils' go-ahead touchdown. I just followed my pulls, and I saw the linebacker start to flow, so I just cut up field and put my head down and got the first down. The senior running back scores two plays later in what proves to be the final touchdown scored in the defensive battle between the two highest ranked teams in CIF among Mojave River League and Desert Sky League schools. This game has more twists, turns, facets, storylines, subplots, untimely injuries, unexpected calls, and unusual plays than even the most superstitious observer might expect on a calendar date notorious for misfortune. Apple Valley appears to get off on the wrong foot, returning to the playing field tardy for the opening kickoff and being penalized for delay of game before the game ever starts. But don't get me started on whether the Sun Devils being in the locker room during the playing of the National Anthem has anything to do with NFL protests. This pre-game procedure has been in effect since the Frank Police era as Apple Valley head coach. Apple Valley opens the first series of the ball game with Jeff Widener's completion to Kashan Griffin. Passes Jeff Widener will complete six passes this night, four of them to Kashan Griffin. The first first down of the game comes on Jeff Widener's keeper. The drive carries across midfield into Burroughs territory just shy of the red zone. Successive quarterback keepers on short yardage are stopped short by the Burroughs defense and the visitors take over on downs at their own 21. Apple Valley's opening possession melted four minutes and 16 seconds off the first quarter clock. The Sun Devils will get it back in a most unusual way with 4.16 to play in the quarter. Burroughs' first possession, first play from scrimmage, a variation of what we used to call the belly series. Quarterback Austin Griffin puts the ball in the belly of running back Antonio Ramirez, reads the reaction by the defense, and keeps. We see a coming together of number 11's Kai Merchant with the tackle after a gain of three. Second and seven, Austin Griffin pitches to Bryce Moore, who breaks a tackle and carries for a first down before knocked out of bounds by Chad Smith at the 44. Austin Griffin completes 50% of his passes coming in, having thrown for almost 1,500 yards. This is the plan of attack the Sun Devils expect to see from the Burroughs. The short pass completion, this time the other way, to Jack Sherritt. Gain of four before Seth Baker rides him out of bounds at the 48. Fake to the running back, Austin Griffin keeps and carries for a first down at the midfield marker. Jacob C. Francisco Reyes, Kai Merchant, the tacklers. Watch outside linebacker Donovan Williams, eight, loss of four on the play, one of two tackles for a loss this night for Donovan Williams, 5'8", 170 pound senior. The Sun Devils look to have the Burroughs advance halted at midfield. This is third and 19, a penalty backing Burroughs back deeper into their own territory. Austin Griffin connects with favorite receiver Bryson Pippen over the middle, 27 yards on the play. The Burroughs are knocking on the door of the Sun Devils' red zone at the 28. There is no shortage of flags thrown this game. We see Chad Smith flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct for the late hit and Burroughs is awarded a first down at the 14. Is it karma? Is it Friday the 13th bad luck for Burroughs? The high snap through the hands of Austin Griffin. Kai Merchant neutralizes Griffin's attempt to recover. Chad Smith picks up the loose ball and brings it all the way down to the Burroughs 16. Same thing happened when Apple Valley hosted Silverado, then Barstow, and again the week before against Oak Hills. A major miscue by the visitors, capitalized on by the Sun Devils, leading to drawing first blood. The speed and quickness of Burroughs linebackers, shown here. 44 is Brandon Miller, throwing the Sun Devils ball carrier for a loss back to the 20. Third and long, ball on the 20. Jeff Widener with a pass as perfectly thrown as you could ever hope for. Kashan Griffin with the catch. Both knees inbounds as he slides out of the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Uh, it, was, it was a perfect, perfect ball by Jeff. I just went up and, go, and went and go get it. That was it.
Sixth touchdown reception on the year for Kashan Griffin. Seven nothing Sun Devils. 2:54 to go in the first quarter. Burroughs is a team with exceptional talent in all facets of the game. Isaac Miles' kickoff taken by Antonio Ramirez, brought down by Kai Merchant's sure helmet losing tackle at the 40. Chad Smith with the slicing tackle after Antonio Ramirez picks up four. Ramirez carries 14 times this game for 64 yards. One storyline of this game is how the opposing coaches are determined to sustain lengthy, time-consuming drives to keep the ball out of the hands of their adversaries, high-powered offense. Thus, a higher proportion of running plays from Burroughs than the one-run-to-two-pass plays ratio coming in. Seth Baker stopping Antonio Ramirez a yard shy of a first down on this play. Sophomore Brett Steffi picks up the first down at midfield. This is Burroughs' second possession and only their second in the opening quarter. Quarterback Austin Griffin is listed at 5'8", 160. He has accounted for two-thirds of Burroughs' total offense coming in, passing and running combined. This is the second-to-last play of the first quarter. The Burroughs will start the second quarter with a second and 10 at the 37, backed up by a penalty on the final play of the first quarter. Chad the Ripper, Chad Smith, cuts down the Burroughs ball carrier for no gain. One of 10 solo tackles this game by Chad Smith, 5'10", 175 pound outside linebacker and two way starter. The Burroughs need seven for a first down from the 34. They get 11 on the Griffin to Pippen completion. Austin Griffin to Jack Sherritt, gain of six to the 17. Antonio Ramirez tries to get wide. Another Chad Smith tackle, but not before Ramirez picks up the first down to the 12. Eight more on the completion to Jack Sherritt to the four. Two plays later, Austin Griffin scores from the four. Fifth rushing touchdown on the year for the senior quarterback. Maya Morales, the kick is good. She is 12 for 17 on the year on PATs. We are tied at seven, two minutes, 37 seconds into the second quarter. The Sun Devils begin what is to become a penalty-infested second quarter backed up inside their 20 following a holding penalty. Donovan Ferguson gets eight yards on this carry. Three plays later, Isaac Miles is kicking it away. Bryson Pippen fields the punt, somehow evades a trio of defenders before brought down by Cole Kubitschek, 43, at the 43. What we see next is a defining moment in this ball game, and tragically the final play of senior quarterback Austin Griffin's high school career. He sets up to throw, scrambles to his left, and is met by Chad Smith just before going out of bounds. Clean hit, but you see Austin Griffin immediately writhing in pain. He has just suffered a broken shoulder bone. The collective hearts of Burroughs teammates, coaches, and fans stop. The clock has stopped at 6.04 in the second quarter. The score is tied at seven. Two plays later, the Burroughs punt it away. The Burroughs force a three and out as the teams exchange punts. The Isaac Miles kick backs Bryson Pippen back inside his 40. Uriah Dominguez trips him up and Burroughs begins this possession at their 38. Backup quarterback sophomore Jalen Beecroft hands off to Antonio Ramirez, who carries for a gain of 10 to the 48. Antonio Ramirez had not attempted a pass this season until this play. He completes it to Bryson Pippen for 22 yards, and the Burroughs are into Sun Devils territory, first down at the 30. Two plays later, Antonio Ramirez has to rush his second and last pass attempt under pressure from Jeremy Justice, and Burroughs' plan B offensive scheme appears to fizzle out. But did we mention play this second quarter? Is penalty infested? When Chad Smith leads with his helmet on this tackle, the Sun Devils are penalized 15 yards, and Burroughs has a first down all the way down to the 13. Jalen Beecroft 
tries to get outside, but is stopped for little or no gain. But two plays later, the Burroughs are knocking on the door of the end zone with a third and one from the four. What entails next is the biggest penalty of the night when Antonio Ramirez goes airborne and hurdles Donovan Williams into the end zone. The flag flies immediately for hurdling, denying Burroughs a go-ahead touchdown and backing them up 15 yards to the 17. They set up for a field goal. As the ball is snapped, the white-capped crew chief and head referee immediately throws his flag. The field goal attempt by Ryan Arlo sails through the uprights. It's good. But Burroughs is called for illegal procedure to be explained as an illegal formation. And the field goal is waved off. Dare I mention kicker Ryan Arlo's number on this Friday the 13th? He has hit from 42 yards out earlier this season, but this attempt is no good. Apple Valley has dodged two silver bullets in a manner that would make any werewolf chuckle. The score remains dead locked at seven at the half. Burroughs has the ball to start the second half. The short kick returned to the 40. Freshman Tyron Smith, the tackle and kick coverage. Burroughs coach Todd Mather comes up with a variety of variations to try and generate offense. Wildcat formation here, but this game has been dominated by defensive play from both sides so far, and it will only intensify the second half. Chad Smith, another tackle for a loss, stopping Antonio Ramirez behind the line of scrimmage on this play. Apple Valley's safeties can play run first, pass second, and the Burroughs running game has difficulty gaining any traction. But the Burroughs defense plays just as tough or tougher against Apple Valley's offense, and the teams exchange punts to start the third quarter. Isaac Miles gives Apple Valley the advantage in field position with a booming kick, 49 yards. Bryson Pippen eventually brought down by Uriah Dominguez at the 23. It's three and out for the Burroughs in their second possession of the second half. Four, then five defenders in on this tackle for the Sun Devils. Advantageous field position has Apple Valley with the ball at their own 47 following the Burroughs punt. Donovan Ferguson takes the handoff. Burroughs nose guard and right tackle submarine. Donovan Ferguson follows Grant Smith through the gaping hole, then cuts outside and races 50 yards all the way to the three on the biggest play of the night. Donovan Ferguson had scored the game-winning touchdown against Silverado on a 40-yard play, a pass reception actually, but this play may well be his most important of the season, setting up the winning touchdown in this slugfest between Mojave River League heavyweights. Two plays later, from the two, Donovan Ferguson carries into the end zone, untouched, and Apple Valley has the lead they shall not relinquish. 70, 6'1", 225-pound lineman and fellow junior Gabe Soddy among the first to offer congratulations. Donovan Ferguson carries 22 times this game for 127 yards, his fourth 100 yards plus rushing effort in the Sun Devils' seven games. Thus far, he lists at 5'10", 160. Isaac Miles nails the extra point and the 14-7 score that shows on the Newton T. Bass Stadium, Lynn Brewster Fieldhouse scoreboard with 5.22 to play in the third will be the final score. The defensive play by both teams the rest of the way as it had been all night, characterized by hard hits, another of the Chad Smith, 10 solo tackles on the night, add three assists, and that's 13 tackles for the junior linebacker this game. Burroughs two-way starter Bryson Pippen 
has a monster game he carries out of the Wildcat formation here. And another Apple Valley standout defensively is linebacker Francisco Reyes, stopping Bryson Pippen short of first down yardage, ending a Burroughs fourth quarter possession. But we cannot provide Sun Devils defensive highlights without showcasing Seth Baker, 29, the free safety, twice installed as all Mojave River League at that position his sophomore and junior years. Seth Baker is the heart and soul of this Apple Valley defense. He is in on 17 tackles against Burroughs, giving him a team high 98 on the year. In analyzing the outcome, we dare not understate nor underestimate the loss of Burroughs quarterback Austin Griffin. The complexion of the game changed with his departure, evidenced repeatedly by misplays by players thrown into high-pressure situations in this highest-of-stakes game. The Burroughs have to pull out every special play from their playbook. And it is to the credit of Apple Valley's team defense that this offense is held scoreless three out of four quarters of play. You know what a griffin is, according to mythology, a winged creature with supernatural powers and the body of a lion. It should also be pointed out that Apple Valley is playing with its griffin at far less than full speed. The Sun Devils star, two-way starter, leading scorer, and kick return specialist is nursing a leg injury that keeps him from running back kicks and playing defense. Yet his impact is dynamic. Kashan Griffin scores the game's first touchdown, and his pass receptions late in the game help Apple Valley maintain possession and eventually run out the clock. How important is it now for you guys to go into the last three games undefeated? It's very, it's very important. We got to finish strong, keep working, work hard. That's it. Take it one week at a time. We got Serrano next week, so we need to. They're tough. They're tough. We need to go into practice, take it really seriously, and just focus and get after it. It is Jeff Widener throwing those critical pass completions and taking the reins in leading this team's offense, making sound decisions and picking up huge chunks of yardage in key situations. And to the monstrous offensive line, we again acknowledge their contributions. I just gotta keep your heads up, and finish out league, and uh, go ahead and finish it out. That Congratulations was bad. <laughs> on, a, on a victory when you were a team co-captain tonight. Way to go, RJ. Thank you. Midway Home Solutions Action Highlights. This video sports online report presented by Midway Home Solutions. Huge selection of scratch and dent, air conditioners, refrigerators, freezers at closeout prices. Midway Home Solutions.